In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. Today we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of the glorious Virgin Mary come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, so that fortified by her protection, we may reach the mountain which is Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The way of the just is smooth. The path of the just you make level. Yes, for your way and your judgments, O Lord, we look to you. Your name and your title are the desires of our soul. My soul yearns for you in the night. Yes, my spirit within me keeps vigil for you. When your judgment dawns upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. O Lord, you mete out peace to us, for it is you who have accomplished all we have done. O Lord, oppressed by your punishment, we cried out in anguish under your chastising. As a woman about to give birth writhes and cries out in her pains, so were we in your presence, O Lord. We conceived and writhed in pain, giving birth to wind. Salvation we have not achieved for the earth. The inhabitants of the world cannot bring it forth. But your dead shall live, their corpses shall rise. Awake and sing, you who lie in the dust. For your dew is a dew of light, and the land of shades gives birth. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. From heaven, the Lord looks down on the earth. From heaven, From heaven the, the Lord, Lord looks down, down on the earth. You, O Lord, abide forever, and your name through all generations. You will arise and have mercy on Zion, for it is time to pity her, for her stones are dear to your servants, and her dust moves them to pity. From, From heaven, heaven the Lord, Lord looks down on the earth. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute, and not despise their prayer. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. Let this be written for the generations to come. Let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners to release those doomed to die. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. And you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Today we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, so we join in prayers and we pray for all Carmelite fathers and Carmelite sisters and nuns and brothers throughout the world. And most of our Carmelite brothers and sisters are cloistered, in other words, they're monks and nuns. Uh, they spend most of their lives in the monastery, not seeing the rest of the world. So we pray for them. I'm sure they are praying for all of us today as we celebrate their feast. Life is beautiful, uh, the Italian movie says. La vita è bella. But also, life is difficult, Scott Peck says. And I think we know that. Yes, life is beautiful, but life is also difficult. But we will not solve the difficulties of life if we keep simply on complaining and sulking and you know frowning how difficult life is. The Gospel today, I think, uh, gives us a very beautiful perspective and solution. How do we face difficulties in life? The Lord says, come to me. You find life burdensome, worrisome, come to me and I will give you rest. All those who labor, I will give you rest. There is this very important relationship between labor and rest and we know that. For someone who is uh, simply staying at home, uh, watching TV the whole day, going to bed at night it's not a big deal. Why? Because you are rested the whole day. So another four or five hours of sleep at night is nothing because you are well rested. But for someone who has worked during the day, you know, uh, and especially now we, again in this mass, we acknowledge our uh, frontliners in this fight against the coronavirus. How do you work the whole day? Not just the medical workers, but everyone. Uh, those in the restaurant business, our men and women in uniform, uh, you know, uh, san uh, sanitation personnel, all of them who work during the whole day. A night's rest really means a lot. You have worked so hard during the day, a night's rest is one of the most beautiful experiences in life. So Christ to this says, you work, you rest. It is very important because Christ places the context of both work and rest in Him. What is the best way to work and what is the best way to rest? Christ says, with me. You don't simply work outside of me. Because if you, if you work outside of me, you will not find true, genuine, authentic rest. But if you work with me, if I am with you wherever you go to work, I will be with you whenever you go to rest. There's a, you know, a, one of the beautiful prayers I still uh, pray. You know, these are prayers we were taught when we were kids, and we used also to pray this in the seminary. The morning offerings. I'm sure you, you know the prayer. And for those who have devotion to the Sacred Heart, this is one of the prayers that we pray. O Jesus, the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you all of my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day in union with the Holy Eucharist, and all of that. In other words, first thing in the morning, you know, uh, when you wake up, it's always, thanks God I'm alive. And then we pray, you know, uh, the usual angel of God, my guardian dear, this is the usual routine. And then, oh my God, I'm you know, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day. Why is it important? Because already from the very beginning of the day, we are conscious that we are in the presence of God. We are not only offering our joys. Our prayer says, including my sufferings, my joys, my works, everything I will do to the Lord, I am offering to you uniting our day with Christ, uniting our work with Christ. And so at the end of the day, 
we again pray. It's one of the prayers that we recite. We say, Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Lord, tonight I'll go in peace. Or in fact, tonight I can go. I can die. You can take me because I have done the whole day, everything the whole day with you. Uniting our work and rest with God. And I think this is very important because at the end of the day, um, we do not simply say, Oh, thank you, Lord. Finally, I gained another million today. Oh, finally today, Lord, I was promoted. I'm already the CEO of the company. Oh, finally today, I have taken revenge of my enemy, the one I really uh, despise and hate so much. No. We simply say, Lord, tonight I go to rest. I have done everything today with you. Give me rest. We unite our works, we unite our rest with God. And that's exactly what the Lord today says. Come to me, all you who labor, and I will give you rest. One of the most uh, popular lines of St. Augustine is that he says, My soul is restless until it rests in you. But that's exactly what the Lord is saying. And I hope that's what we always feel. Because we can look for... Uh, pleasure and happiness in many things, wealth, fame, money, power, uh, but we know they do not last. The one million is not enough. We will keep looking for another one million, another five million. Sometimes five houses are not enough. We keep looking and desiring for more. Sometimes being the president of a company is not enough. We keep looking for more. Our hearts will not be at rest. Our hearts will be restless. But St. Augustine says, our heart will only find rest if it rests in the Lord. So again, our Mass today, we pray for that gift. Lord, please, let me always start my day uniting everything and offering everything to you. My joys, my sufferings, my works. And at the end of the day, let me look back with gratitude and thank you that everything I did during the day was in your presence i was in your company and so as i lie down to rest at night i am offering my rest as well so we pray for that gift lord bless our day and bless our night bless our lives so that everything we do during the day and as we rest at night we are always in your presence and in your care The Lord calls us to him, and so we bring him our burdens, our needs, and petitions in prayers. And let the response be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, may the Lord in his abundant goodness continue to nourish her through the gifts and fruits of the Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our world, may God bring peace to every nation, every home, every heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those whose burdens seem too heavy to carry, may the Lord bring them hope and consolation and rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For this faith community, here and at home, may the Lord make us a refuge for the weary, and a loving support to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died from the effects of the coronavirus and other illnesses, especially Mario Amerja, Juanita Loyola Ramboy, may God the Father welcome them into his eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. And today we pray also in a very special way for Wilfred Woof Furlong and also in honor of Our Lady of Mount Carmel for all the blessings received. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for all of us gathered, especially for everyone at home participating in this liturgy with us, for those who asked for our prayers, those whom we promised to pray for, for all the blessings that we are asking from the Lord, 
unfold intentions that we hold dear in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we submit these prayers to you. Hear and answer them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed our Lord, you all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are the Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Let us now pray that my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord, the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands, hands for the, the praise and glory of his name, for our good, good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of the Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just unto you our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, John our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not to our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And, with your spirit. Spirit. and we greet this other with the peace of Christ. Peace to everyone at home. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us now all together recite our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. As we receive the heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary 
may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ the Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, love, and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.